it's nice. The acupuncture and the the doula relationship helps facilitate yes. that. Yes. yes, yes. I think my experience as a doula mm. helps with um, those patients in particular that mm. are about to have the baby. Um, as an acupuncturist alone, I can mm-hmm. definitely treat that. But sometimes I kind of add in mm-hmm. some doula techniques. Mm-hmm. Like while they're here, I'll do some um, double hip squeezes to help open mm-hmm. the, the pelvis. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'll do like a combination of some some comfort measures and body work that helps align things. And then acupuncture points that stimulate everything. So just um looking at Western medicine and women going through this experience, such a personal experience with, um, with that being able to feel more empowered going through the process. And so having a a specialist, a doula that understands that relationship and how to manage the Western medical system in a way that makes the woman at the center of it all feel more empowered instead of feeling just overwhelmed and sort of whatever they say I'll do absolutely yeah Yeah. that that's very very important Mm -hmm. um to me and um, that's my main goal with all of my my doula clients um is to make them feel really empowered Mm -hmm. for this big day the Mm -hmm. you know potentially the the biggest day of their life Mm -hmm. you know (laughs) their baby's birthday and um yeah, getting them comfortable mm-hmm. and educated with the process and familiar with certain things of what to expect and um, to really sort of let go of fears because mm-hmm. I think our society has um, built this sort of fear-based mm-hmm. um, way around birthing. Mm-hmm. And, and it's unfortunate because it is literally the most natural thing that our bodies are designed to do. And I really believe that the more mentally you can get on board Mm -hmm. with that process and prepare yourself um, for that, to embrace the journey, Mm -hmm. to embrace the sensations that come up that are very intense. Mm -hmm. Um, And of course, having a support person like a doula Mm -hmm. um, or a, a partner that's just basically like the doula Mm -hmm. Um, but when you have the partner and a doula it's really nice because it takes pressure off of the partner Mm -hmm. um, so that they Mm -hmm. don't feel like you know is this normal Mm -hmm. I'm not used to seeing my my wife or my partner or my girlfriend um, in this situation experiencing this intense discomfort right Um, and so they may sometimes just kind of jump to like, oh, are you sure you don't want, you know, this medication or that? Or, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. they get a little scared. And so we, we really want to take out any any fear, mm-hmm. any um, feelings of like, oh, this is scary. Right. Um, so that the mom can really feel safe, mm-hmm. safe and comfortable mm-hmm. and um, know that she is she's safe and supported. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So um, I think that that's really mm-hmm. the most ideal situation. You know, it's so. such an interesting point you bring up too about the not just the mother going through it, but also her partner. Mm-hmm. Um, also, you know, being a witness, being a father, um, going through because yeah. I think even fathers go through their own hormonal fluctuations with their partner's pregnancy. Yeah. Um, which, which prepares them for fatherhood. And so it's just right. it's such an interesting yeah. point that I hadn't really thought about that. And, yeah. and then the doula is also like has the medical spectrum, like understands like all the different options and the different right. ways to manage the Western healthcare system in a way that um, could help the mom mm-hmm. at, and and also it takes pressure off the the father so that they can go through their own experience that's such an interesting point absolutely um it's important for the father or the partner um to to feel good about it so that they can know that their wife or partner is is safe Mm -hmm. and um so they don't have to feel like they have to know everything about it Mm -hmm. because let's face it, I mean, not everyone knows about all the 
intricacies of birth and what the stages are and the different Mm -hmm. phases that you Mm -hmm. kind of go through Mm -hmm. that's it's kind of a lot to learn that um Mm -hmm. so you can't really expect (laughs) everyone yeah Yeah. to understand that so it's nice because the doula really just kind of sets the stage and you know Mm -hmm. as a doula when I'm in my doula role I will I'll glance over at the father um, or the partner because mm-hmm. um, we do have some mm-hmm. some couples that you know um, are you know it's a, it's a wife and a wife or mm-hmm. a partner and a uh-huh. and a girlfriend. Um, so you know I'll kind of glance over at them and say, "This is good. This is normal." <laughs> like you hear that change in her voice. Oh, that's it's wonderful. Her breathing. That's good. We have transition. Mm-hmm. Um, these are all positive signs mm-hmm. because it may scare them. Like. Oh, I've never heard her sound like that, <laughs> you know. And so that reassurance, I think, for for them is is really nice. Yeah. So then they can just be there for her mm-hmm. in the capacity um, it, it, that is just pure mm-hmm. love and support. Not worry about the medical stuff. Mm-hmm.